<sighs> what a way to start. Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am in Dollar Tree's parking lot and I am going to attempt to record and to actually upload. Yesterday, if you watched my video last night, yesterday ended up just being a really bad day for me mentally and nothing was going right. I shouldn't say nothing. A few things went right, but I just wasn't feeling it. I have a lot of pressure to feel like I need to record. I do want to keep this channel going. I absolutely need to. <laughs> if there was ever a time I needed to be making money, it's now for this move. I thought I'd jump in and just see how I do. Let's see if I can get through this and actually upload it. Yesterday I recorded seven videos and I just deleted them all from my camera. I wanted no memory of that. I started very early and I ended last night and that last one I was like, okay, I have got to just not talk about specifics. I just need to explain some things and I tried to do that and then, um, you know, I uploaded it. So I went to bed, you know, pretty frustrated but glad that I got it done next to me. I have been out doing some stuff. I went to the post office. I went to the dump to hit the donation bins. I went to Walmart to pick up my groceries and I came to Dollar Tree for some pork skins. And if you see stuff in the back seat, that's one of the things that didn't go right. I went to Goodwill yesterday. I talked to you guys before the trip all during the trip, after the trip. I even did two different separate videos in my driveway, just starting over from the beginning, eliminating all the trip. Every time I recorded, I realized I don't want to post any of that. And you guys are, you're lucky I didn't because it was just really long and it was all just me talking about all the things that have been going wrong and new things that I'm finding out that are big struggles. So I, I just, I, I didn't even want to relive it while editing. But my trip to Goodwill, I happened to have a doctor appointment for my sleep apnea, a follow-up in Biddeford. So I was so happy when I realized that, because it was scheduled months ago, I was so happy when I realized that was falling on a Monday at 1.15. I was like, this is perfect. I'm going to go to the doctors and then I will drop off my goodwill. So it wasn't like, uh, you know, a wasted trip to the doctor. The doctor's appointment was quick, simple, uneventful. And then I went to goodwill to big signs that they were closed due to no staff. Now this happened before, but they, it happened when the very first time Skylar and I went there, but they put the signs behind my car and I was able to go in, uh, you know, pull up. But this time it was just all closed. It was two o'clock, I have a feeling, because the last time it was two o'clock, I have a feeling that's when their shifts change and they just had no staff to do the donation part and I couldn't get rid of the stuff in my car. I was, you know, it just feels worse to me when I'm already not feeling great. And it was just like, not another thing. And because I'm not taking all this stuff out, there's not like a whole lot, but there's stuff in the back seat, the trunk is full, and I'm not taking that stuff out. And I can't go again until next Monday because I have stuff every day this week. And then this weekend is my sale and packing orders and things like that. And I had decided that yesterday's trip was going to be the last scheduled Goodwill because I'm really running out of things that are small enough to fit in this car that is worthy of a trip to Goodwill. I'm getting to things that I'm going to uh, have to start throwing in the actual garbage bin at the dump or having somebody come and pick up the stuff. So I need to look to make calls for all that. I'm sure I will dig out more things that can go to Goodwill, but I'm just going to start putting those things in a section and then, you know, when I have enough to fill my car, I'll go, but I'm not going to just plan on going every Monday now. So I have to ride around with this stuff until Monday. I will try to, you know, fill the car with more things and then that will be my, my last scheduled run. 
So that happened. But I mean, there was other things. It, there's just other things that are just like, oh my God, how am I going to do that? And now I'm here and I couldn't get the pork rinds that I wanted, but I got some salt and pepper ones. I didn't look, but I'm sure there's no sugar in these. Um, geez, can I see this? No added sugars, zero gram sugars. There is, a, it, you know, it's down there in the list, but it means just a little bit. Salt and pepper. I like that better than just plain. I don't have too much else to say. This is a test run to see if I can upload. So maybe it's better that I don't talk too much. Was there anything else? I do want to show you, you know, parts of what I've been doing for cleaning. Right now I'm not picking a specific spot. I'm just going around and I'm doing stuff that you guys would never even notice like emptying some drawers. Our dishwasher that my father bought in the 1970s uh, was used a little bit, but then it just became storage. My mother did not like to use a dishwasher. I don't like to use a dishwasher. I don't like loading it, waiting, unloading it. It's just, you know, I wash as I eat. The minute I'm done eating, I wash my plate or whatever. And uh, I even wash my pan. You know, right now I use pans for my steaks. I put the food in my plate and I wash the pan and then when I'm done I just have my plate to wash and I don't even use a fork uh, so the dishwasher had a lot of storage in it and I was able to pack most of that for goodwill some good stuff there and then you know some other drawers that I went through so I'm doing things like that I also have like a couple of bins of things I want to bring with me and I'm being very very fussy because I don't you know want to you know be bringing a lot of stuff but there are some useful things so hopefully if i do end up hiring a mover or you know if i get a u-haul or whatever uh movers would just be the easiest way to go you know i'm just gonna start packing and i think i'm gonna put the things that i'm bringing with me in my mother's empty closet so it's out of sight for when the house is being shown but yet I'll just know these are things that I am bringing with me and if I change my mind about any of those things well I can get rid of them later so I guess I'm gonna just stop I just wanted to uh, you know fill you in on nothing basically <laughs> I had nothing new to say like I said I just want to get this uploaded so that I can feel some sense of normalcy sometimes it's just good to just push through something and, uh, you know, you don't always have to feel good about doing something. I, I'm not feeling good about this video at all. <laughs> but you're going to see it anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more soon. Bye.